Got one, I think. Yeah, nice one. Oh, came off right ashore here. Check that out. Cops in the background. I'm down here messing around with a 27 inch. I'm gonna put it back. See ya. Nice. Oh, did that get you guys wet? Got me wet. Not in that way. Don't be sick. That is a pretty fish right there. Wow. Take a good go. Again, play that backwards and you'll understand it. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Fish Brain Shane here. I haven't uh, been out fishing in quite some time. And um, that's a lie. It's been about 45 minutes. But I'm heading back out by myself and I'm going to look for some fish and I'm glad that you're here with me because I cannot wait for you to see what I do. I'm kind of waiting to see what I do as well. So <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. I'm not my usual chipper self. I'm uh, facing some medical problems and uh, been pretty sick. So um, send some good vibes the old fish brain way if you could because it's uh, it's been tough. But I'm going to get out there. I'm gonna catch some fish and you're gonna be here. You know who's here with me? It isn't just me by myself. There's Leo! Leo's here with me. How you doing, Leo? Yeah, the tail's a wagon. We're ready, aren't we, buddy? Leo brought the music. Let's go fishing, let's go fishing, let's go fishing now. There's a fish. I don't think it's a very large fish. It's kind of waking up now, but it is the first fish. So we're going to give it a little respect. Hello, Mr. First Crappie. How you doing? Slide on up here. Very nice to see you. <laughs> Good old first fish. That'll make a guy that's feeling bad feel a little bit better. To know that they're biting a little bit. Pretty one right there. Let's get him back in. Thanks for being the first fish. I appreciate it. Bye. Come on. There we go. I had to mess around with him a little, but I got him. It's those dog days of summer, you guys. Hard to get the fish to bite, but still fun to fight them. <laughs> little Sunny. So we've got a little Sunny and a little Crappie. The Crappies don't start biting. I'm going to throw on a worm and see if I can get some bigger Sunnies, but in the meantime, we're going to get this guy back. Bye, bud. You guys, there is nothing like fishing. I love this more than anything. I don't care what kind of fishing it is, whether you're watching a bobber, whether you're trolling or, you know, yanking across some top water. And as you've seen, I've done all kinds, wading, everything. I mean, I do all kinds of fish. I love fishing. It's so amazing. And I think there are those of us that just love it. Somehow it's just in your DNA. I happen to be a Pisces. Um, maybe that's part of it. Fish, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just love it though. When that bobber goes up and you set the hook and you actually have weight on the end of the line, you have the fish, there's just nothing like it. Peaceful. Wonderful, amazing. I love fishing. There you go. <laughs> I saw you. This one's got a little more backbone to it, you guys. This is a little better fish. I don't, of course, have my net here. So let's hope that we can get it in without incident. Looks like it's sunny, yeah. Nice. Oh, did that get you guys wet? Got me wet. Not in that way. Don't be sick. Jeez. Pretty fish right there. I like my sunnies. Tunnies. I like the sunnies a tunny. <laughs> Look at that thing. What a beautiful fish, huh? Back on the pan fish. Getting this one in the tank. Gonna make sure I got uh, plenty of fish around for my boys. What a beauty. It's just a pretty fish, man. 
in the tank with it. Oh yeah, something's on it. Come on, take it. There we. Oh, I had it too. Oh, that went under. That was uh, under. That's what we call went under. Time for some. If you're new to the channel, it's time for some redemption. This is we're going after the redemption bite. Going right back into the same spot, right back into the jaws of the lion and dropping back down with the same thing and hoping that same fish is there so I can redeem myself by hooking it directly in the face. I don't care where it hooks it in the face, honestly, at this point, because I'm upset that it took advantage of my generosity. I generously let this fish bite my bait for as long as it wanted, and then it screwed me. Well, you know what? Redemption is mine. Bring it. I dare, ooh. Oh, you got me again! You son of beach, I'm coming for you. There's a fish. Got back in the right area. Oh, it's a jumper too. <laughs> nice. He's excited. Come on up here and meet us, fella. So you guys, I'm not sure if there's anything to it, but I hear a lot of people saying that when they jump like that, that means they're a hybrid. You know, have a little bit of that spot there, Got that tiger striping to them, but looks like a black crappie to me. Could be a hybrid. So I want to learn a little bit more about that and maybe give you some more information in the future. And maybe some of you can comment if you, uh, if you know for sure if there is a hybrid species or not. I I'm guessing there has to be because I've been hearing people talk about it a lot. So let's get this guy back in. Bye buddy. Okay, you guys, so recently I went on this adventure with Mikey B, and we didn't catch a lot of fish. We only caught two fish, but some really crazy things happened, and I really want you to see this. So I'm gonna take you to that right now. We'll check it out, and I'll be back to talk to you about it in just a minute. Out and about this evening, uh, giving it a little bit of the old look-see. Saw something on a Facebook group called Abandoned Minnesota. And I've always wanted to go find some abandoned places and kind of search around. And I know another guy that actually likes to do that as well. Love to do that. The Mike and B. What was that lady saying? There's about? the cabin. Yeah, that's freaking awesome, man. Dude, we, we gotta, gotta get there. We gotta she get was, down there. She was saying that you gotta walk to that you can walk to it across that the other side as Dude, well. we gotta get over there. Let's go back to the truck. So do we go down to the crosswalk or just take our chances? It's pretty busy. Chance it? Yeah. After this car. Yeah. Alright, now, now we're stuck. Yeah, now we're stuck. Hello! Yeah, I got a <laughs> Oh, he's gonna hit him. Oh. 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 Alright, after the white truck. Beep, beep, beep. All right, here we go. Look at that, that was pretty easy. Black butter. Like silky butter. Silky butter. <laughs> oh, somebody is moving furniture. Bowling. Oh, yeah. What is this? Paradise? Look at all the docks, dude. I want to eat all of you. Uh huh. You get no respect. I think it's back over this way. But check this out. So, this is actually a river cabin. Apparently. Totally dry walking over here. Totally dry. Wow. It looks to have some modern reinforcement or something done to it. Maybe. What do you think? They said it's an old river cabin. It actually was a cabin. A river cabin? Yeah. Like maybe it was where somebody came during a season of the year to, to fish, where they stayed. It looks very Flintstone-y in here. 
You're gonna climb it? Oh, that's. I see three little jumps up there. That's legit. You should definitely climb it. I see three little Ugh. steps that lead perfectly up there. You ever watch Free Solo? Yes, I have, and I love it. Okay, so here's the first little step I'm looking at. Actually, there's another one down here. This is gonna be good in sandals, but here's another one right here, another one right here, a couple of these along the way, maybe one right there, but I should be able to reach maybe a step right there. I should be able to reach all the way up there. Let's try it. In flip flops, no In less. Flip flops. Yeah. There goes bike and me. Boom. Over the top. I'm gonna find a way to climb up there myself. Well, dude, if I can get up there, I'm fishing from up there. <laughs> so. I'll come down and back you up. Well, if you want to come down and get stuff, if I'm able to get up there. That'd be cool. All right. Let me just see if I can get up there. I brought my climbing shoes for this very. <laughs> you all right, man? I think I am. <laughs> I'm more. I'm more. I'm more. I'm more embarrassed than anything. Holy shit! That was awesome. <laughs> oh my god, you're fucking laying out on the ground. <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. Because <laughs> I walked away and they think the last time they saw you was over there. <laughs> so they're just getting things from my footage, <laughs> footage alone. They're going to get staged. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, you know, this is what it is. <clears throat> All right, there's gonna be fish in here. You just watch. There's gonna be fish right here. They're gonna love this. You just watch. Here's a fish. Oh, yep. Got one. Another way, Mikey. So that's one that we've been waiting for. Yep. It's. Get on in, baby. Putting up a little bit of a fight here. I don't want to horse it in because I want it to actually make it in. There we go. Oh, foul hook, you son of a gun. Oh, he's, you got him in the mouth. And then he got underneath. Oh, yeah. Very neat. Oh, that's so cool with the camera on the front side. Yeah. It's so awesome, man. All right. This is something that Fish Brain Shane is famous for. Slow motion release. You guys, what a backdrop to be fishing in front of. Check out the Anoka Bridge, all lit up with the LED lights. You can kind of make out that uh, river cabin right there. The lights are on. It's prime time, time to get a fish. Let's do this. Come on, you know you want it. Bite it, bite it, bite it. Come on. Bite it, bite it, bite it. And when it seems like you're going to climb up there, you kind of go for climbing up there. Especially when you're skywalking. Yeah. You know? Uh, like, oh yeah, I got this. No problem. I started climbing going, yeah, I'm climbing with 300 pounds. Oh, got one right there. All right, get up here, little guy. Oh, yes. Dude. yes. Nice Walleye. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! Interesting. I wonder if that one out there might not have been a while. I know it jumped, but dude, that was right by shore. That was right here by shore. It was. Wow. Nice little walleye, you guys. Oh, oh, don't get away. 
Nice little walleye. Sure would have been nice to get a bigger one of these because I would definitely keep it. That is for certain. Nice fish though, right? Pretty cool, Mikey. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, little fella. He hit it right by shore, so he must have been following it. All right. Bye. Bye, buddy. Let's let's read off some of the uh, notifications. I haven't done this in a long time, you guys. The KC Fish Page. Hey, buddy. Uh, great guy. I got to know him from Instagram. You're pretty handy with a fillet knife. Yes, I am. I'm pretty handy with one. I like to do that. Uh, Daddy Fun TV. Right here. So awesome. <laughs> he said, excellent. Very nice. Um, let's see. And, and I'm reading you these as I see them. Not another one replied. Fish brain chain, extremely. Probably was saying I was cool or something. What the F up with this guy? Must have a sad life if this is what he does for entertainment. Is he talking about Mikey B? Or is he talking about El Rodzanino? I don't know. <laughs> Roger. I wouldn't oh, let it go. I wouldn't let it go. This is a John Sky 66. I wouldn't let it go. I'd grab a camera. I'd head over to the street by his house and I'd start filming. It's totally legal from a public area such as the street. Yeah. Bring a camera and watch the show. Yeah. Oh man, King Jr. coming in top water is so fun. That's awesome. Um, let's see here. Let's just grab another one or two of you. Heather Schoenhofer. I hope I'm saying that right. Commented again, she's great. Great fan of mine. Martin Swartout commented, yes, contact your Department of Fish and Game. That's right, buddy, yes. All right, that's enough of them for right now. I'm gonna get back to them on another video. Hopefully that gives me a little bit of luck. Let's see if we can get another fish. I just imagine that river cabins like this, like this ancient abandoned one, uh, were commonplace back in the day. You know, hundreds of years ago, there were settlers and they were on the banks of the Mississippi and the Root River and other places, and they were finding all kinds of awesome fish and ways to spend their time. Mike was talking about it earlier, having a bonfire right on the river, fishing and catching and cooking right here, just right over a fire. We might do that next time we come down here. Can you believe that I fell off that building? <laughs> believe me. The <laughs> The way I fell and how I landed on my feet and then landed on my rear and then on my back um, definitely was the best case scenario, but still uh, was very, very painful. And I'm a guy that's had two surgeries on his back. And, um, you know, I am having some other medical problems as well that may require some surgery. So um, <laughs> it was it was a lot of you could hear me laughing. I don't know if that was out of shock, if it was out of disbelief, if it was. I, it, I remember it being just truly funny. So, um, pretty awesome. Come on. Be my huckleberry. That's what I like. Yes. That was a good bite right there. I've been waiting for this fish for such a long time. He's a beauty of a crappie. And I don't know anything that rhymes. Boat flip. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what a big crappie. You guys, that's a, that's what I call a pig right there. Pig crappie, USA. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a fish, right? Just a beauty. That is a pretty fish right there. Wow. Take a good, good little, you know, again, play that backwards and you'll understand it. Take a good close look at this fish. Just a pretty one. Wow. You're gonna be the last ones to gaze upon his beauty because he, as you know, is going in my tank. Thank you for your service, fella. There's a fish. Yeah, that's all I gotta do is kinda start concentrating on something else and that's when the fish show up. Seems to be an okay crappie. Beautiful sunset over there. Come on up here, fatty. That's a fat one. Nice, you've been getting plenty to eat. Nice, beautiful white crappie. Nice fish. <laughs> Shook it loose yourself, didn't ya? That's a beauty, you guys. I gotta get heading in. Um, like I said, if the videos ever do slow down, just bear with me, but I don't think they will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the best I can to just keep them going. And uh, in the meantime, 
thanks so much for your subscription make sure you turn on notifications for all videos i'm starting to do a whole bunch more shorts now and everything so for me and for this white crappie the guy that owned this cabin i get the feeling his name was alfred alfred jenkins and uh, he moved here in the 1800s from sacramento california he had actually been there for the gold rush in 1849 and he didn't get anything so he came here looking to kind of get a fresh start back in 1858 when he heard that Minnesota was a state. He put together all these rocks and back in 2016 they poured a little cement down through the rocks to solidify them. Old Albert comes back once in a while and haunts the place so come down here at your own risk. How much of that was true? I don't know. Fish brain chain out. Get him back. Bye.